to that freaking Flash episode. Like, I literally was like, what? I did not expect that bomb to drop a freaking Barry telling Iris, I need some space. <laughs> Girl, when he tells you that, you should have been like, bitch, then go watch Star Wars. Legit was not expecting that. Like, I thought Iris was gonna be the one to do it if they were gonna break it off, but then she was like, I love you, Barry, and I know that no matter what, I'm gonna love you, and you too. And then Barry comes out of nowhere, and he's all like, look, I did ask you, and this and that, and bada bing, bada boom, it's over, bitch! And I was just like, oh my god! Because you know what this does? Do you know what this does? It opens up the door for the return of the queen, Patty Spivet! Now I already know what you guys are thinking. She's on another show, Juice. She's never gonna come back, Juice. Let go of the dream, Juice. I'll never let go of the dream because I don't give up on my dreams, motherfuckers. No, I will tell you that what this does is it just says that this is a chance for her to come back. I don't think she'll come back because she is on another show, but... So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! And that's all I need. Team Patty, Team Patty. Also, just gonna throw it out there, this is kind of Iris's fault. What? What? Yeah, I said it. It's kind of Iris's fault because of the way she was acting with the whole thing. Does she have the right to act that way? Yeah, but you gotta live with your consequences, Iris. Totally your freaking fault. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, what? That's totally fucking Barry's fault because he asked her to marry her when he didn't really love her and blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. Look, if you were one of those people that thinks that it's okay for Barry to bitch out Wally, but it's not okay for what he did to Iris, no, no, no. Fuck you! You can't have it both ways! It's either Barry can be full on dick or not dick at all, okay? You can't have it both ways. Barry is a bitch in both situations or he's not. You can't pick and choose with these things because man, whoo, Barry's been knocking him out of the park lately and people are having to come save his ass like crazy all of the time. But man, oh man, this episode takes the cake. Back to the whole Iris' fault thing. At the beginning of this episode, when she's not wearing her ring and Barry's all like, Iris, did I lose you? And he, she just walks away like nothing. I was just like, oh, bitch. I was all, Patty would have never done that. Patty would have understood. You know, she wouldn't have left or lost Barry. The problem over here was Barry just didn't want to commit. Barry was all like, I can't tell you my secret identity because Patty had to figure it out himself. What? But she wouldn't have pulled an Iris and been like, ah, your fault, Iris. I'm going to put it there. Your fault. Also, this episode was about Barry learning to live with his consequences. So he knows all about consequences. So Iris, you should learn that you have consequences for the way you act too, girl. In all seriousness, I was blown away by the ending. I was not expecting that. I thought Iris probably had been like, we need to just wait a little bit. But hearing it come from Barry and him saying that they need space and he's going to go stay with Cisco and like everything. I was just like, wow, was not expecting that at all. So another big thing happened in this episode and you Eddie lovers finally got to see your damn hero come back because all of the time, every time there is a mystery that needs to be solved in Flash, I always get the theory, well, maybe it's Eddie because Eddie this and Eddie that. No, he's not coming back. He's got as much chance as coming back as Patty does, all right? But I get you, I get you. I gotta be on that same boat with you because I want Patty to come back. But I do realize how little chance she's got, but. So you're telling me there's a chance. There you go, Eddie came back. In the only way I think Petty, Petty, eh, Patty, Patty's all on my brain right now, but Eddie, I think this was the only real way Eddie could come back. Or, you know, if he's on another Earth, we do know he's on Earth too because he was on the speed dial thing, but. As of right now, I think this was the best way for Eddie to make a cameo, and that's probably the best way they should keep him, because he got to play and talk about his whole death thing, which was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you Eddie lovers got your little, finally, Eddie has come back thing, but I don't think he's ever going to be a crazy villain or something like that. We got to see Black Flash and the Time Wreaths, and I gotta say, the freaking Time Wreath, man, they're like the worst ghosts ever. He couldn't even go through a door? Like, you're serious? Like, come on, man. You guys are supposed to be able to freaking vibe through shit and whatnot. But yeah, worst ghost ever. It was badass to see Black Flash again. Uh, that is something that I know he was shown on Legends of Tomorrow and shit, but I'm totally behind on that show. 
So it was nice to see him be fighting Flash again. At first, I thought it was Zoom. I was like, what? I was like, they freaking manifested Zoom. But then I, you know, so finally saw his face and I was like, oh shit, it's Black Flash. It's legit. This episode just brought back all of the original OP people, but totally left out Patty. Thanks, guys. Thanks, CW. Fucked up. But seriously, we got to see a lot of old faces in this episode. It was pretty badass. We got to see a lot of cool characters. And just the way they were going about trying to save Wally was really cool. The Speed Force was pissed off at Barry. They wanted to teach him another lesson like they did before, but with a little bit more attitude this time around. We got to see Snart again. Why have they not fucking brought back Snart? Like, bring back Snart already. Stop making these visions and all this other shit. Find a way to bring him back so we could have the damn... A uh, freaking Flash rogues gallery uh, in one whole episode trying to take down the Flash. That is something I want to see. Please bring back Snart to real life at some point. Flash show on CW. Speaking of Snart, he showed up when Barry finally finds Wally West in his worst nightmare or his, you know, what he has to do. Basically reliving the worst freaking event in his life, which was his mother's death. So, we saw that, and that he's just trapped in a hospital room, which it's the same hospital that Oliver and everybody goes to all the time, if you guys ever don't notice that. It's the same freaking hospital. They use the same one over and over. Uh, same thing with the stairs. There's always these stairs that are used in, like, every Flash, Supergirl, all of these other things. It's, it's pretty funny, if you ever pay attention to those kind of things. But anyways, so, Snart's just gonna kill Barry because he's like, I'm not gonna fight anymore, and then Jay Garrick! comes to the freaking rescue and saves the Flash. That was pretty badass because there was no way for Flash and Wally to get back to their own Earth because, you know, he destroyed the whole thing on his chest or whatever. So Jay coming to the rescue was pretty badass, but not as badass as him sacrificing himself. And that, I was all like, no, are you serious? Like, that, I mean, I understood that somebody had to stay there. And I know that they weren't going to make the Flash do it. Although, it, come on, let's be real. Would it, have, would it not have been badass if Barry would have sacrificed himself? Like, I would have really liked to see that. I would have liked to see a few episodes where everybody tries to save Barry to do something. But man, like, come on. What? Freaking Jay Garrick had to give himself up. Like, come on, Barry. You're ruining everybody's lives, bro. That was basically what this episode was. Was the Speed Force showing Barry, look, bro. We've seen it for three seasons. You don't fucking know what you're doing. You're ruining everybody's lives. Learn from your consequences, bro. That really sucked about Jay Garrick on the outside of the Speed Force. We saw Jesse Quick doing the whole like, Oh man, my man got hurt. I gotta go beat up the person that hurt my man. Uh, you know, so she freaking went and tried to fight Savitar when a million people told her not to fight Savitar. But you know, kids these days, they don't listen. And she just straight up went to go fight Savitar and totally got worked. Oh my God, he blasted her over a car like no problem. Like, you're eliminated from the rumble, bitch. She got destroyed by Savitar, but then with the help of HR, she freaking shanked him with his own piece of armor, and we found out that Savitar feels pain, which, I mean, I mean, come on, you should have assumed that a while back because he's been hurt a couple of times. The doorbell rang! Package delivery, but, uh, yeah, so, Jesse Quick stabbed Savitar, and the whole gang and HR realized that, oh, Savitar feels pain because he's a man under that armor, which, I mean, we knew. I know some people out there thought he was actually a speed god, and he's not a human, but, like, we literally saw that guy with the Philosopher's Stone freaking get his power, and that's how he became Savitar, so I always had the assumption that it was going to be a normal dude under there. Barry even tried to unmask him, so... You know, that it, I always assume that. I don't know if some other people out there didn't assume that. But, uh, yeah, it was just always armor for some reason. I'm just hoping it's not going to be like, oh, it's HR or it's freaking hair, you know, it's freaking this or he's freaking Barry or, you know. I just want him to be some dude we don't even know. And, like, we don't, ne so we've never seen before. I'm tired of these reveals that it's somebody from the past or whatever. I just want it to be some random person and, like, you know, like, ooh, surprise. Because everything else has been done. I mean, we've had the reveal. We've had too many reveals where it's other people. And it's just like, whatever. Who cares? Let's just move on and do something different. Like the end of this episode when freaking Barry was all like, I need space, bitch! Totally didn't expect that. But I really like the move. Because then now that puts the brakes on this relationship. You know, I totally know that they're going to end up together eventually. And they're going to get married and all of that shit. Because it happens in the comics. Totally fine with that. But I also don't want it to be so soon, especially if this show is going to go 
past 10 seasons like it totally could because the CW has no problems with letting shows go on and on and on. Just look at Supernatural. I haven't seen that show. I heard it's really good, but I'm not going to see a show that has 12 seasons and still going on. And lastly, we know Jesse Quick is going to go be on Earth 3 and actually be their Flash, which I find hilarious because, yo, Jesse, uh, you left Earth 2 and they needed a Flash. Like, what the fuck, girl? All of a sudden, Earth 3 is way more important than Earth 2. Did Earth 2 have no bad guys? whatsoever what's the deal you had no problem leaving her two but now you gotta go save her three i know it's out of respect for jay but like come on like really girl like it, it just don't make sense now i'm not gonna go into depth about this but i do have a question that i want to you know ask you guys do you think that uh anything is going to come from you know savitar saying that he has big plans for jesse quick is that going to be something that is going to be part of this show? Do you think it's something they just threw in there because Savitar was trying to intimidate her? Uh, because she left. She went to Earth 3 to go do whatever she wants to do or whatever she's, you know, to go protect that world uh, while Jay's stuck in the Speed Force. So does that just her leaving automatically, you know, negate that? Like it's not going to be an issue anymore? Or is it because she goes to Earth 3 that, you know, uh, freaking freak with the freak freak on the freak freak that Savitar will be able to do something with her you know because he could probably travel wherever the hell he wants so it's not gonna matter where she goes if he wants to do if he has plans for her bada bing bada boom they're gonna happen so let me know what you think is gonna happen I'll throw this idea out there just to get your brain flowing uh, if the if we've seen the future and if Savitar's known everything that's gonna happen even if he knew that Jay was gonna take Wally's place I feel like something major has to happen because we saw the future and Wally's not there. A lot of people would have assumed like, oh yeah, freaking Wally's going to be, uh, he's going to be stuck in the Speed Force, so that's why he's not there. But if, you know, Savitar's seen the future, that means he already knew that they were going to get him out too. So I'm going to say that maybe Savitar maybe gets a hold of Jesse Quick somehow, turns her evil for a bit, or just does something to Jesse Quick that Wally actually has to save her. That's the reason why he's not there that night that Flash needs to be fast enough to save Iris. So I'm going to throw out there that that is my idea on why he might have some plans for her. I don't know if I said that was the last thing, but this is the last thing Well, because I totally forgot to talk about it. I just want to say that I thought it was way too freaking quick for them to save Wally. I don't know if you guys felt the same about that, but I was kind of hoping Homeboy was going to be lost for at least like three to five episodes, they saved him on the next one. Are you kidding me? Can like, can we let him like suffer for a little bit? I know he had to watch the same thing over and over, but like, why, why do they gotta save him immediately? Like, why can't they linger? How is it that they know all the answers to everything all the freaking time immediately? Like, let it linger. Let it just like build up tension. Like, when are they gonna save Wally? Like. I was kind of hoping that they were going to fail to save Wally because that would have added more like, oh my God, like Joe would have been probably going a little bit crazy. You know, same thing with Iris. That would have put more tension on the relationship. I don't like how easy it was for them to save him. I wish it would have been a little bit harder, uh, but you know, they, they literally went to the Speed Force and opened a door to save him. And I was just like, come on. Like I was kind of hoping there was going to be something more that had to be done or if Barry would have sacrificed himself if Barry would have sacrificed himself and he would have got stuck in the speed force and the show would have been kind of the Wally and Jesse show for like two or three episodes while they try to figure out what they can do that would have been cool but you know whatever just wanted to throw that out there I thought it was way too easy the way they saved him and way too early for them to do it I wish they would have done it a few episodes but I guess uh, it wouldn't have made sense for them, you know, the CW, to have a musical episode next week when, uh, you know, one of their, their best guys is, uh, suffering eternal hell somewhere, so I guess they needed to knock it out really quick, although I wish they would have just, they would have waited till, like, the end of the season, but... Whatever, those are my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think about this whole episode. Did that ending blow your mind? What did you think about Wally West getting saved immediately in the next episode? And how do you feel about Jay Garrick sacrificing himself? Let me know in the comment section down below. Guys and gals, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with all your Flash buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Have I had my daily dose of juice? See you guys next time. Bye!